A battery with constant internal resistance. Good to know it's constant. It's connected to a resistor of resistance 250 ohm, as shown. The current in the resistor is 40 milliamps. Okay, so I'm going to label this thing because it's going to be a lot of information later. So 40 milliamps. Sounds about right for a battery circuit, usually about milliamp scale. For a time of 60 seconds. Okay, so this whole thing is running for 60 seconds. That affects how much energy is being thrown out. During this time, 6 Joule of energy is lost in internal resistance. So here, because of the R, you can say, oh, energy is lost as probably heat, 6 Joules. What is the what are the energies applied to external resistor? So what's the energy coming out here? The E. During this 60 seconds and the EMF of the battery. So you need to find what is your EMF as well. Wow, it's got a lot of stuff to find. How do you start? Let's start with the energy first. Energy coming out of this uh, energy supplied to the external resistor. Well, if you see energy, oh, probably the first thing you think of is the E V, right? You'll be like, oh, E equals to V. There's just one little problem here. We know current, yes. We know time, but what is V? You could find V. Yeah, that's one way to do it. How about that? We can try that. You could say, mm, you could plug in Ohm's law in this equation and no need to use V, but... Okay, la, let's find V. La. V equals the I times R. So 40 MA times 250. 10 volts. That means the potential drop across... This one here is 10 volts. From here to here. That's a PD drop. Actually, another better way to write it is kind of just like this. Here to here, 10 volt. Okay. Then you can find, you got a V already, you know? Okay, this one actually, yeah, there's many ways to do it. This is just one of the ways. So 10 times 40 milliamps, milli, don't forget to convert that, and 60 seconds. So then you have 10. Uh, 40 times 10, negative 3, and 60. 24 joules of energy. Sure, that is correct. So these two are out. Also, there is another way to do this. Some may prefer that over the other. Um, if you want to use power equation, that's pretty much the same thing. You say, oh, P equals to I square R. Because I know I, I know R. Can you use this? I miss. Can. It's basically the same thing. The EV and the power equation is just related by time only. Because, oh, if you have P, that is basically energy over time equals to I square R, which is the same thing as your E V there. So E equals to I square R is same as I V. So you do uh, 40 milliamps squared times the resistance times the time. You will also get 24 joules. Same thing. Different ways as long as you get to the same place. Now, we've got the energy dissipated. So, energy is coming out here as heat, 24 joules, in 60 seconds. And that is calculated from the potential drop of 10 volts with a 40 milliamp going through that. Okay, sure. How about the EMF? How to find? What methods do you try to find this fella? Well, one of the ways is to just... Find, you already know this potential drop, right? What if you can find this potential drop because of the internal resistance? Then we can find E ma. Okay, mm, so how to find this one? Eh? Is there a way to find that? We only know that 6 Joule is dissipated. Oh, wait, that's a hint. Ah, you know the energy dissipated from this uh, internal resistance part is... Let me put this small R to not confuse it with the other one here. Oh my goodness, I should put big R here. Uh, okay, so when we have VIT, right? Mm, we know ER is 6 joules. We don't know what's VR. We're trying to find that. Uh, we know the current is 40, M, 40 milliamps. Go here, milliamp, 40 milliamps. Still the same thing. So, let's put 40 milli. And we know time, right? 60 seconds. So we can find the potential drop across that internal resistance bit. 
which is, let me divide it real quick, 2.5, okay, 2.5 volts. Now, if you get overexcited and you see oh, 2.5, so the answer is 2.5, and no, 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 this is only VR. You need to remember that uh, the, how, how does E, VR, and this resistors V relate? How do they relate again? Think back your, your internal resistance thing. E equals to the total potential drop across your circuit plus potential drop across the small little internal resistance there. Okay, so we can do this. We can do this. 10 volts plus 2.5 volts gives us 12.5 volts. Ta-da! And like that, you have found your EMF of the circuit.